presentation once again is a chatterbait wacky rig there we go oh 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 What is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so we are back at it with another fun little challenge for you guys i uh got a little crazy last night and uh, rigged up this little contraption it is a wacky rig and a chatterbait uh kind of fused together so yeah that's what we're gonna be testing out today uh last time i was out at this pond they were biting the wacky rig i got a few bites in the chatter too so i said let's go ahead and uh make a crazy contraption we got ourselves a wacky chatterbait uh, that we're going to be putting to the test. I'm not too sure if anyone's ever tried this before, so I may be the first person to ever attempt this and to ever catch a fish if we were able to do that today. Uh, but yeah, we are at it. I'm out here with the dog, Peppers. Uh, she's over there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get to some fishing, see if we can get something going. So, see you guys out there. All right, guys. The presentation, once again, is a chatterbait wacky rig. Uh, I'm not too sure how I came up with this one, but... It is what we're going to be working. Uh, I'm actually using a Biospawn Plasma Tail as a wacky rig just because it is a little bit smaller presentation and uh, I'm just trying to test out this, this little thing and see if it'll work. And to be honest, I forgot my Senkos and uh, yeah, so we're just going to work with what we have. Just going to cast it out real quick, see if anything happens, see if it even chatters. That's what I'm curious about. Oh dude, it already got picked up. It does chatter. Oh my God. It chatters so well. It's the bass hate it. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It literally chatters. I have like a school of fish following it. I'm just going to put it right back out there. If I reel it in, it doesn't work as a chatter. But if I let it drop, kind of pop it every now and again, it definitely works as a chatter bait. It's so unique. I don't even know, maybe I should like try this out with different things. Maybe do like a drop shot setup one day. Oh, 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 there was a big old bass after it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There we go, oh, oh, oh. Oh, the chatter wacky rig worked. No way. Look at that, guys. Y'all think I'm playing around out here with the boat? We just made a we just made a new lure. Y'all ain't gonna believe me, but wacky chatter. Like I have to take this hook out so you guys can actually see that uh, that uh. I'm not making this stuff up. Look at that. Wacky chatterbait. That is insane. Cannot believe that worked. Wow. Wacky chatterbait. Just came back and picked it up. It worked better in the deep spot than it did in the uh, the close spot. So there we go. Fish number one. Let's try to get a few more. There you go. You got your smelling. Let's get him back in the water. See if we can get ourselves another one. Wow, I cannot believe that worked. Wacky chatterbait. Oh man, I have a feeling if we got one like that, we can get a couple. That was a good size one too. I would have at least expected it to be tiny bass only going after it because usually the tiny bass go after the wacky rig, but you add a, a chatterbait to it and you get the best of both worlds, huh? Oh, some dude, there's like a school of bass coming over here. They don't like this. Oh, something's got it, but he doesn't have the actual hook. He just had the blade. That's funny. It's so cool because what happens is the blade falls down and the hook stays up. So it makes it so if they are going to bite the hook, or the bait, as long as it's like on the fall, I'm good. But if it's after the fall, it kind of makes it a little hard. 
Uh oh, someone's got it. Oh man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's gonna be good for the video. <laughs> Slipped on an acorn or a, a pecan, not even an acorn. Oh yeah, I'm getting a couple followers. Well, I caught a log. There we go. There we go. <laughs> On the chat, whack, we got ourselves another one, boys. Woo! It's not a huge one, but it's another nice, healthy one. On that chatter, wacky bait, man, that's number two. They're starting to get going. Definitely slowed down. I think that has a lot to do with the midday bite. But uh, <laughs> I'm just surprised that this even worked in the first place. It's really, really cool. Fun challenge, unique challenge, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it was fun, it worked. And uh, honestly, you could probably do a lot more with this. I could probably rig it up a few different ways. Uh, definitely, you guys should let me know in the comments what you think, if maybe we should do a drop shot or maybe try to finagle something else. Come on, quit pulling. Maybe even put like a, just a, a Tokyo rig or something weird with it. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below, guys. guys that is gonna do it for today the chatterbait wacky rig actually worked i cannot believe it uh peppers is completely worn out today from uh getting out there and getting on the fish with me we got two i want to say i lost like two more it was a little hard to tell because i couldn't figure out if it was chattering or if it was the wacky rig uh, getting taken or hit by a fish just because that chatter uh, but the very unique fall of it was really cool uh, it was a very fun idea so once again guys if you want to see me do more videos like this maybe drop shots uh, change it up kind of do a little weighted uh, and just just mess around do little things Tokyo rig stuff like that with the chatter chatter beta wacky rig please let me know in the comments below but yeah that's gonna be it for today guys I just pulled up to the famous raising canes and that's what we're about to munch on for dinner so me and pepper is about to get our caniacs on